Hey y'all, this is JJ. Um, I wanted to take and uh, take the time to sit here and do a, the uh, one hour whip and chat challenge. I figured today would be a good day, seeing as where I kind of have like I'm a little annoyed today, so I figured this would be the perfect time to make this. Um, before we get started, uh, I am working on the maple tree from Diamond Art Club, and it's this full square. Um, I'll leave a picture at the end of the video so you can see um, what the image is supposed to look like. But um, how are you guys doing? Um, if you're new to my channel, hi. Um, I don't usually make whipping chats, but uh, Miss Coffee challenged us all to do a one-hour whipping chat, so I, I wanted to try. Um, I'm not I'm not a ver very good at talking to people. Um, usually, I just do my time lapses, but uh, I thought I'd challenge myself too and and do this uh, whipping chat. But anyways, um, I've been watching a lot of videos different videos on different things and I gotta say th there's some things that just really like aggravate me and um, one of them is you know when when you make videos and you put them on YouTube you're always gonna have comments you know I think I've said this before you're always gonna have comments be it they be negative or positive. There's always going to be somebody saying something. And I always see people saying, you know, you, sh you shouldn't be judging them and blah, blah, blah. But when it comes down to it, whenever you put something out on social media, you're going to be judged. So if you don't want people knowing your business, if you don't want people judging you, then why put up videos? Why make posts that are personal about your life if you don't want people to respond. I, I never understood that. Never. Um, it just drives me nuts. And another thing that aggravates me is when people say, when you're, you know, when, when you do speak up about something, maybe, uh, that you don't agree with. And then you hear people say, well, only God can judge me. And, you know, I can't help but laugh, you know, when they say that because, you know, being a believer, even though I'm, you know, I don't consider myself a good Christian, I guess, because I, you know, I smoke and I cuss and, but anyways, I'm not going to get into that part, but I, I just find it hilarious when people say, you know, that only God can judge me because, you know, the last time God's judged people he drowned everybody so I mean I, I just find that kind of funny <laughs> when people say that only God can judge me because it's obvious that he would judge us a lot harder than what you know regular people would so yeah I, I find that kind of silly and annoying at the same time and also you know like I've been watching a lot of these mukbangs and I find it hilarious because, you know, like, when you see a bigger person do a mukbang, you get a lot of people making comments about the person, you know, about how much they're eating and, you know, how can you be, you know, doing this to yourself and, you know, oh, I'm so worried about your health, you really shouldn't be eating like that. You know, you, you always see people talk about how worried about the person's health they are, yet they continue to support the person and basically finance the destruction of the person, you know, that is binging on food that, I mean, you know, they're going to die from the amount of food that they're eating. Yet you're continuing to support them, which is bringing funding to their channel that they're going to use to support this, this destructive behavior. So it, it's like, okay, just be honest. You really don't give a crap about the person's health because if you did, you wouldn't continue doing that. 
You know, I, I posted on a video because I, I've just, I got fed up with it. I got fed up with seeing people say how much they care and yet they continue to go to this person's channel and watch this, you know, this person literally eat herself to death. You know, and it's, it's like, like if a person was suicidal and they were standing on a bridge ready to jump off, you know, it's like, it's like if you were, you would go over and try to talk them down, but then you, you just push them off the bridge. You know what I mean? It, it, it just, it makes no sense. Just, just be honest. You're not, you don't really care about the person's health. You're enjoying watching them eat themselves to death. It's like, just be honest. I, I can't stand it when people are not honest about things. Why why does everybody feel that they have to lie all the time? It drives me insane. I, I just don't understand. You know, and, and then in, another thing when it comes to the, you know, the whole obese thing. People are always, always talking crap about people being obese. Okay, fine. Yeah. You know, being obese is, is not a great thing. And I don't think it should be praised. But at the same time, I don't think that people that are overweight should be treated like, like lepers, like they're less than anybody else. But at the same time, if you really want to get down to why people are gaining so much weight, tackle the food. I know for myself, it's, it's cheaper for me to eat unhealthy than it is for me to eat healthy. You know, and when you're on a, a you know, a budget and you can only afford so much, you're going to take and try to stretch out your pennies as much as possible, you know? And so, I mean, if people really want to, you know, get down and deal with the whole overweight epidemic, let's start making healthy foods cheaper, you know, getting rid of all the garbage that, you know, we have as far as junk food and stuff. Let's start talking about all the crap that they're putting in our food that's messing with our hormones, you know, that, that's changing our bodies for the worse, making us sick. It, it's not just because somebody overeats. Yes, that is part of it. But not everybody eats like that, you know. And, and it aggravates me. I don't know. There's just so many things that annoy me. And I never get to talk about it. I always keep my mouth closed, you know. And, and today was just one of those days where it's like, you know what? Miss Coffee wanted a whip and chat. Usually I would, I wouldn't know what to talk about. So why not just, you know, have a little rant about things that aggravate the crap out of me? <clears throat> because at one point I used to make little what I call my little rant videos, you know, and I would just put music to pictures that kind of expressed how I was feeling at that moment. But then um, the updates with my computer changed and I couldn't figure out how to do it anymore. So I stopped making those videos. Um, you know, uh, another thing. So my, my daughter, she, uh, she has been really sick and because of her illness, she has, uh, had to start being homeschooled with a tutor. Now the tutor knew when she came to the home that my daughter was sick. She didn't, I, according to her, she didn't know how sick she was, but anyways, um, she told the tutor the day, the very first day that she did not want to leave the house because she was scared that she would have problems, you know, cause she's got Crohn's and colitis and she's got irritable bowel. So at this point she can't really control her, her bowels. And so my daughter didn't want to leave the house, but the tutor insisted on leaving the house. So, um, the second or third day of her taking my daughter to the library, I guess while she was out, my, my daughter had a, an accident and the tutor got upset about it. And, um, basically to make a long story short, the tutor quit because she couldn't deal with my daughter having accidents, even though I told her, what is the problem with you just, you know, being at the house and she says it's because my dog is distracting even though the dog only came over to her a couple times just to sniff her and then she basically went off and did her own thing so nobody was bothering her but that's that was her excuse so anyway so she quit 
So now she has to have a new tutor, and this guy starts Monday. So I'm just a little bit annoyed, you know, with the school system and all the crap that I've had to go through with them the past couple years with my daughter and her her health issues and stuff. And, you know, now, now these, these tutors are obviously going to start acting up, and I'm going to have to fight with them. It's like, if it's not one thing, it's another. You get over one hurdle, and then something else comes up. It's, it's constant non-stop, you know, and then, uh, my mother, um, she's been really, really sick, and for a while, we thought it was because maybe she was misusing her medications, and come to find out, because she started having seizures now, come to find out it's because the medications that they were giving her were having uh, reactions to each other, and it just got to the point where she ended up having the seizures, so the doctors were not following her on the medications, they were just prescribing her meds without even checking whether there would be any effects with the other meds that she was taking, and, you know, it's just really frustrating that these, these doctors go to college, they go to school for this, and they don't know what the hell they're doing, it's like, what are we paying these people for? You know, I, I don't understand. It, it just makes no sense. How can you prescribe somebody a medication and not check up and see, you know, whether or not it's going to harm them? Yet, every, you see people telling you, oh, you need, to, you need to trust your doctor. And it's like, okay, sure, fine, whatever. Uh, you know, I just can't. I just can't. Let's see, what, what else can I... Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's, like, all kinds of stuff in my head. Um, but, you know, when you when you start talking, you kind of, it's like your mind kind of goes blank a little bit. And, of course, I'm nervous because, like I said, I'm not used to doing whipping chats. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I've just been really frustrated, you know. Oh, and another thing that aggravates me, okay? Now, where I live, I've been here for seven years. I pay a lot, a lot of money for the apartment that I live in. And these people, oh my God, these people, they don't like to do repairs, but yet they will be the very first ones knocking on your door if you're late. Not that I'm ever late with my rent, but that's not the point. The point is, is that, you know, if you owe them even $5, they're riding your butt, yet I asked them to fix a cupboard in my kitchen and it takes over six months, and then they still have not fixed the cupboard, and now, um, my fridge, my fridge has been broken for a while, I had uh, a maintenance guy come to my house, um, because the fridge was acting up, and he's like, oh, it's because you, you guys have been playing with the, the you know, the thermostat inside the fridge, and I told him, I said, nobody's even touched it, and everything down in the bottom keeps freezing, and everything up in the top, is not freezing enough, so anyways, he said that it was because we were playing with the, the dial or whatever, so he re basically refused to, um, replace the refrigerator, so now I'm stuck with this fridge, I've been stuck with this fridge for a while, we can't have eggs in our fridge because they freeze, you know, any, anything that's liquid, if it's under a certain amount, we can't keep in there because it freezes, yet they put up a, an, a post in the office saying that if you're if you damage your fridge uh or if you, they find that you have broken your fridge that they're going to charge you four hundred dollars to replace the fridge so it's like basically they're saying that even though this fridge has been broken that if i was to go to them and tell them i need a new fridge that they're going to charge me four hundred dollars for a fridge that i've been telling them has been broken and they've done the same thing with like like the plumbing, okay? I've been having issues with my bathroom plumbing where my bathroom sink keeps my my bathroom sink is basically unusable. If you put water in it, it will not drain out. Um and my tub I there's there's problems with the plumbing in my tub. Um the handles get too hot. So they're saying that you know, if you if you mess up any of the plumbing and stuff, that they're going to charge you for it basically. If they have to come in and fix it. So, I don't know. 
I'm, I'm just aggravated because I, I want to move so bad. Yet, you know, looking at some of these, like, apartments and houses and stuff that people are renting, you know, they're asking, like, like for instance, okay, I got really discouraged because I thought I found a, a really nice apartment for me and my girls. It was $1,000 a month. It was it was a five-bedroom. Um, you know, it had a washer and dryer. It had a uh, fenced-in backyard for my dog. Um, but they had an income requirement that you have to make three times the amount of the rent. So, basically, I'd have to have an income of $3,000 and more a month just to be able to qualify to live there. You know, and then when you want to get an apartment, they're asking for, for like two months security plus one month's rent. It's like, if you're low income, how, where, where are you supposed to come up with this kind of money? You know, um, I don't know. It's just frustrating because you want to do better for yourself. You want to make changes. And it seems like no matter how hard you try, there's always something, something you know, that, that stops you from being able to make changes. And, and it just gets really discouraging and, and frustrating, you know. Because I'm, I'm a very simple person. I don't ask for very much. I just want a clean, safe place for my girls and me, you know. And I just want to be able to do my crafts. But, yeah, I mean, that that's basically my little my little rant. Air. Um, so I guess I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm 38. I'm a single mom of two. I've got two daughters. One is 16 and one is 14, about to be 15. Um, I love to do crafts. All kinds of crafts. I like to crochet. I like to color. I like to do beading, I like to do plastic canvas, I like to listen to music, I like movies, I like gaming, um, let's see, my favorite food is Chinese food, even though Chinese food does not like me, um, my favorite sweets are, mm, let's see, if I was going to have a sweet, I like caramel. Anything with caramel. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? I don't know. That's all I can think of at the moment. It's not exactly an hour. Wow, that's only 17 minutes. <coughs> I've done a lot, a lot of diamond paintings. Um this last year I did uh, the Great Wall that was that was my mega DP for last year this year um, 2020 I want to pick another project to do and I uh, I posted on my Facebook four different images that I would like to do and I asked people which one I should do for my, my, you know, my mega project for 2020. So that's going to be really interesting to see. Um, and I'm sure I'll put some videos up of that when I decide which one I'm going to do. I like to challenge myself with all of my crafts. I like to try something different. And, and I got to say, I do have a really bad addiction to crafting. It's like the more crafts I, I learn the more I want to learn more, and yeah, I I'm becoming a craft hoarder, but I, I think that a lot of us probably are craft hoarders, I mean, that's just kind of how it is, you know, you can't, you can't just do one craft, you gotta, you gotta do them all, you know, <laughs> um, I'd like to, uh, at some point, um, I think would be a really cool challenge for myself is to do a, a heed, uh, for my diamond painting, I just don't know what um, the whole process is in that. I don't completely understand it, but that is something that I would like to do. Um, let's see. What's next? 
823. Okay, so we'll do this one next. So, uh, what are some things that really annoy you guys? Um, that you can't really stand, that really get on your nerves? Because I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, and, and you know, if I do think of other things, I'll, I'll kind of throw those in there. Because my mind kind of went blank a little bit. I, I had an idea of what I was going to talk about when I started recording. And, yeah. My mind just totally went blank, pretty much. So now, at this point, I'm just rambling. <laughs> and, of course, everybody's going to think I've lost my mind because I'm talking to myself. Uh, I have made some really good friends on YouTube, though. Um, I really enjoy um, watching you guys' videos and, <clears throat> you know, uh, seeing all the different projects and stuff that you guys work on. It inspires me, uh, and I really enjoy um, just seeing all the, the different crafts. And it's nice to have people that get as excited about crafting as I do. Because, like, when I talk to my family and stuff, I know they appreciate this, you know, the crafts and stuff that I do. You know, the gifts that I make for them. But I, I can feel that they don't get as excited about it as I do. So it's nice to have like-minded people that get excited about crafting like I do. It just makes it so much more interesting, you know, and I, I try to get like my family and stuff into doing the crafts and stuff. But yeah, that never lasts very long. I managed to teach my 16 year old how to do some uh, crocheting. I taught her how to do chain stitch and single crochet that lasted for a few minutes, but uh, then she kind of stopped doing it. <laughs> Um, my little one, I keep trying to get her to diamond paint with me. She keeps telling me she wants to. I got her her own paintings and she still has yet to touch them. Then she says, mom, I want to, I want to do paint by number. So I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Cool. She's like, yeah, I'm feeling inspired. I'm like, well, that's great. I love it that you're feeling inspired. So I buy her a paint by number. And do you think she's touched it? No, it's still sitting in the box next to me. You know, it's funny because she's always inspired, yet every time I get her something, she doesn't do it. <laughs> so I'm like, oh boy. Kids, man, they're, they definitely keep you on your toes. There's never a dull moment, you know. And nobody could have prepared me for this whole parenting thing. Um, it definitely takes a lot of patience. And, a, you know, for me, a lot of praying. Sometimes it's like a constant nonstop because some of the things that come out of these kids' mouths, man. You know, I think back to when I was growing up and if I would have said some of the things to my mom that my kids say to me, ooh, I probably wouldn't have had any teeth left or a butt left by the time she got done whooping my ass. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's just funny. Um... Forgive me, guys, that my dog is barking. She seems to think that she's got to bark at everybody that comes in the hallway. Even though she knows who it is, she's still got to bark at them because that's just what she does. Um, but, yeah, you know, just these kids. My, um, my oldest, she's funny. Uh, she uh, just broke up with a boy not too long ago and so she decides to tell me yesterday hey mom I got a new boyfriend and I'm like okay and she's like well aren't you gonna say anything I'm like what do you want me to say you know if I had my way she wouldn't date at all she, you know I, I wouldn't even let her see a boy if I if I could you know if I had my way but I mean that's just unrealistic I mean you know <laughs> but yeah I was not I was not ready for this whole dating stuff, and it's definitely uh, crazy. And my my 14-year-old, she says that she's never going to date, that uh, she's going to be a strong, independent woman. And uh, I kind of chuckle, and I'm like, you know you can still be a strong, independent woman and date, too, right? 
And she's like, no, mom, boys have cooties. They're always going to have cooties. And <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> she definitely makes me laugh. With some of the stuff that comes out of her mouth. My little one. Uh, every day is definitely interesting. Uh, I'm blessed, though, because, you know, um, they give me something to look forward to every day. You know, they make me want to be a better person. Um, it, you know, they they mean more to me than anything. And I just love them. I love them a lot. And I love making stuff for them. That That's how I got into my crafting. Um, you know, because I was on a budget and I still wanted to be able to give the girls nice things, you know, they wanted fancy hair stuff and, you know, jewelry and things like that. And I, I couldn't really afford to buy that kind of stuff. And when I realized that it was so much cheaper just to make the stuff myself and I could also, I could always get more making it myself for the price that I'd pay for one item, I could buy the supplies and make more, maybe two or three of that item. So that that's originally what started me on the whole crafting thing. Um, you know, was making hair stuff for my youngest and making jewelry. I got started doing that because I wanted to be able to make jewelry for my oldest. Um, make earrings and necklaces and stuff. <clears throat> so that that's really what sparked my whole crafty thing. You know, my whole craftiness. Um, and then I just started playing around with other crafts and... And then I found diamond painting, and this has just been a blast. I love, 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 love diamond painting. I love um, learning about new new artists and stuff. I was never into art, you know. I didn't know anything about art, and one, you know, being a diamond painter, I'm learning so much about artists and stuff, and and I found a new appreciation for art, you know, and. Um, I really, I'm really enjoying it. Not just that, but it's very therapeutical. You know, um, I, I am bipolar and I have severe depression and, you know, doing the crafting and the diamond painting and stuff has really, really helped me because I am, I am unmedicated. Um, I, I believe that the medications do more harm than good. Um, <clears throat> and so far I've been lucky you know, and I've been able to focus myself into my crafts, and I, I think that's a great thing. You can't put a price tag on, you know, something like that, but, yeah. <sighs> All right, guys, I guess I'll let you go, but I just wanted to make a short whipping chat, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.